I'm when in doubt, just fix, restart it or kick it. You know, that's uh, yeah. exactly. <laughs> um, so uh, how's it going? How are you? Uh, I'm doing pretty well. Good, good, um, good. Yeah. Good. No I'm glad. Uh, you had some good questions with the whole Zenyatta crap. So I hope that was mm-hmm. like at least mostly sorted out. Um, yeah, definitely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm not okay. Been second guessing sort of the higher order. Good. Like, good. There. It's actually funny because you asked that question, and that's like, um, you know, I've been a big ISX fan for a long time. He he coached me like a long time ago, a little okay. bit. Um, and it, I remember watching a couple of his things, a few of his videos. It must have been two years ago, and I remember I came to I think it must have been a Zenyatta review, and I was like wait a second, did he say that? I'm like, no, that's not right. You know, and, and sure enough that it comes full circle. So, um, you know, it, I, I think that he has a lot of emphasis on, you know, winning those tank trades and like doing the tank war, tank war, tank war, tank war. And I think that that, mm-hmm. um, it's not always wise. And I, I think even like his Reich looks like is, is because of a hyper fixation on cover, which I, I don't think is 100% accurate, but anyway. Okay. So obviously this form is, is a little bit outdated. It's been a little bit of time. Um, so I guess what I'll do is sure. I'll just kind of go through it and then you let me know, okay, this has changed or that has changed. And you know, this is kind of what I'm looking for. So what got you interested in coaching? Let's just start with that, that question for you. Um, I just wanted to rank up. Sure. I had always played, uh, Overwatch casually since release. Um, I mean, for the first year or so yeah. after release, totally. It's the thing to do to screw around. Yeah. Never played FPS on mouse and key before. I was like a WoW and StarCraft gamer. Um, yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm I'm older now, and generally anytime I take on an endeavor, uh, I I look for coaching. And, sure. And uh, after getting back into the game and realizing that when I was actually trying, I wasn't really doing any better than when I was just screwing around in years right. past, I said, okay, it's it's like time to reassess. And uh, I sort of realized that I had this false expectation that, like, I ought to be decent at the game at a baseline because I played other games at pretty high levels. Yeah. And then I realized, wait, none of them were FPSs. Like, <laughs> yeah. I played yeah. Hearthstone at High High Legend. I know I can do strategy, but that doesn't mean I can implement strategy in an FPS. I grind it up in starcraft so i'm thinking i have all the requisite apm and mechanics but that's not aim and positioning in an fps and uh you know wow is wow but as seriously as you can play that game i've done that too so right i said i I gotta like go back to the beginning and figure out you know what the hell i actually should be thinking of when i play this game Right, right. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I, I think the key thing is it's like more than anything else. When you when you learn a game, you kind of like learn how to learn, right? Yeah. Um. But it sounds like in your case, it almost felt like it was more like a you had a little bit of entitlement going on. That that was probably more of like a trip fall than anything else, right? Um. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. So- if I had gotten in and and you know found myself stuck in like you know mid gold or something like that, I'd be like, all right, this is what I you know that makes sense, but. Yeah, not being able to get out of like low silver, I was like, I got something <laughs> seriously fucked up. So right, right, yeah, it makes sense. It. Yeah, it makes sense. And where are you now? You're diamond at least at the time of the yeah, form. Yeah, I'm I'm diamond two. Nice, um, nice. I have uh, uh, tapered off on the playing a little bit. Uh, yeah, a little bit of burnout, a little bit of real life stuff. Kind yeah, of taking priority. Yeah, of um, course. But uh, you know, at, at a point now where. Um, I want to take it to like the next level as far as playing seriously. And and for me, that means a little bit of like not uh, not playing just to play, uh, you know, for fun or, you know, because it's like uh, a habit. I've noticed that every win or loss now is counting for significantly more rank than it did when I was silver to plat. Right. Um, so I have not been as gung ho about just uh, grinding. Um, right. I think a little bit of that is, is like not good. I'm like too loss averse, maybe. Sure. Right now. Um, but I also um, you know, I I would like to uh level up another account so I have somewhere where I can truly just relax, not relax, but but experiment and and you know, kind of feel a little more free to like use competitive as as a sandbox. So of course I started to play on another account playing a little bit with a cousin and, and really just trying to get a hardcore reassessment of what I need to work on 
uh, before I like really make the plunge back in probably next season at this okay. point. Okay. Makes sense. Makes I'm still sense. playing though. I'm still trying. Yeah. To yeah. It makes sense. I mean, the way I look at this, it's kind of like your whole like competitive drive and just you as a person is kind of like a vehicle, right? Like you're yeah. not really going to be investing in a Ferrari, right? Like, top 500. It's just not really, you don't really care that much. Right. Um, but you're like driving, like, let's say, you know, a uh, Toyota Corolla, right. And you're like, what can I get out of this vehicle? What can I get out of my motivation? What kind of crap can I clean up? You know, can I be playing with a little bit more mindfulness? Are there any goals I can be setting with for myself? And can I get over losses a little bit easier, you know, to where it's not so much yeah. about the rank, but I, I think that like with the amount of motivation that I have right now, I could be five, 10% better. Right. Um, yeah. And I think that's kind of like where the priority is because ultimately it's like, you know how it is. It's like, you could be top 500, you know what it takes, right? But you're like, yeah. I, don't, I don't want that. <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to put that in. And so it's like, yeah. just whatever your motivation is, it's like, what's the best that I can be with my current level of motivation? That's kind of like what you want to be doing. Yeah, I, I, I do want to, you know, like GM is a long-term goal for me. I mm-hmm. would say that like um, I, in, in the last couple of months, have had more motivation than mm-hmm. I do now. I'm kind of at the stage where it's like, uh, before I go like re up my motivation, I want to make sure I'm, I'm doing it on like a, a solid base. Cause right. I was going to just like, you know, uh, mad dogging ranked, uh, before right. this. And it's like, I'm, I'm not going to do that indefinitely right. until I hit GM. I, I do need to be smarter about it. Cause I, right. you know, right. I'm not 18. I can't just. Dump exactly. Exactly. There's priorities and, and yeah. exactly. Okay. So, so it sounds good. Now you only play Zen. So yeah, I, I, Zen is my main actually. Um, was the right. character that I have more hours on than any character in the game. Right. Um, but I'm curious, why uh, why Zen? Why Zen? Um, part of it is just straight up the character design and and just flow of the character. It just feels good to me. Um, I always gravitate towards uh, support roles, but mm-hmm. uh, I just don't get that type of joy out of Ana or Bap, who are the other yep. two characters I'd consider. Yep. And Kiriko wasn't a hero when I cut my teeth in this game, and I'm not <laughs> looking to jump ship there either. Mm-hmm. Um, and the other reason is because I know he's a high skill ceiling character, uh, unforgiving, and I just tend to gravitate towards that modality when I'm trying yeah. to learn. Like, just yeah, fuck the sense. training wheels. Like, I'm fine yeah. to struggle until I get it. Yep. Um, because I just want to develop as much, like, raw skill as possible. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, that, that's what got me into the game as well. It was with a different character initially, but Genji. But it was yeah. like, hey, this character's hard. This character's fun. I want to play it. Yeah. Um, so, you know, it's exactly there's something. There's Maybe it's a little bit of ego, but I don't yeah, think it's really sure. bad. It where it's like, I can, I can handle it, right? You know, and yeah. I, I think Zenyatta for me, it's maybe it's the same with you, but fluidity, right? Mm-hmm. Um, something about the kit, it just feels like there's just a lot of complexity, uh, but not surface level complexity. And that was, that yeah. was appealing to me. So, okay, uh, good choice. <laughs> Uh, two to three hours per day, six days a week on average. Okay, that yeah. sounds good. Now, obviously, that might have changed since the time of the form. Yeah, just the last couple of weeks. Um, it's not something like I 100% want to uh, get back there. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting back there. Um, the the like the uh, the breakiest part of my break is definitely over, and like I'm <laughs> ramping back up. Sure, um, sure. So I think that's a a pretty sustainable level for okay. me. Fair maybe enough. five, maybe five days a week, just yeah. for the next couple months with what's going on. But yeah, in terms of quantity of hours, like you're probably going to have masters is a very reasonable goal with what you're yeah. doing, good play time wise. Um, I mean, I, I would say if anything, like you could probably play a little bit less and keep it at six if that's even mm-hmm. possible, uh, because obviously spreading yourself across multiple days is going to be the most consistent thing that you can do. Yeah. Um, but even if you can't do that, even if you do stick at two to three and, and five, six days a week or five days, excuse me, uh, you're, you'll, you'll probably be fine play time wise. It's going to be obviously the dumb thing, but it's like, what's the quality of those hours like? That's the question. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's now, funny. I assume this is mostly ranked. Yeah, uh, all ranked. I don't play quick play. Okay. Okay. Do you warm up? Um. So I have been doing like Kovacs aim training as like a side pursuit. And um, sometimes I consider that my warm up. Sure. Um, recently I have been just getting a few games on the alt account to warm up. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Vaxta. I'll do it if I'm feeling like particularly sluggish on a day. Sure. Um, I always search and see if there's some tryhard FFA lobbies. Yep. Uh, very often there's not. Yep. Um, and sometimes if there's not, I'll jump into a regular death match, but regular death match to me is it, it's hit or miss. 
Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay, okay. Yeah, I'd say about at least half the time I'm I'm warming up. I I would say aim for a hundred percent, but mm-hmm. on the days where you really don't feel like it, just make yourself do it for like less than five minutes. Yeah. I think like that if you're like, I don't do it, but I probably should, then you either need to motivate yourself to do it more, which is really not possible because if there's no try hard, there's nothing fun to do. Or you yeah. need to make that barrier to jump a little lower, right? And I think we can we can make it at like shin height, you know. Um for sure. just 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 jump in for like three to four minutes and Vaxa, that's just gonna help a little bit. I would recommend it. Um uh, how would you ahead. compare like Vaxa to like hitting up a game or two on my alt account? Right now I'm like uh inferior know, like low silver or better. Environment. I would say better to to get into Vaxta. Um, even though Vaxta is really? not particularly good for support characters, it's just yeah. so it's just so rapid. Like okay. it's just constant. Con- it's so efficient of your time, and that's really what you want from a warm up. You don't want it being like, okay, got a queue, and then you know we get into the game, and then I'm going to be hitting shots, and then I'm going to open, oh, I'm going to die, I'm going to reset. You know, it's okay. like you just shoot, 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 shoot. Um, it may also be a little bit dangerous to go into a, an alt account where there's any sort of uh, rank discrepancy because it might that's my worry you, yeah. right your expectations of like what you're playing versus it's like you're going to scale up like so dramatically it might kind of throw yeah. you for a loop um, okay. but I, I would say just on days where you really don't feel like warming up just do a five minute warm up or less yeah um, okay okay uh, pa, 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 pa. also highly recommend for efficiency of time we talked about like making that Corolla cruise uh, take short breaks between games if you can yeah um, you might have heard me say this before but like when you're in queue even just one minute 60 seconds to get up from your computer walk around walk back you're good um, yeah. like as much mental acuity, as much focus energy, um, uh, you know, even, not even when you're tilted before you even get tilted. I think it's yeah. really, really important. Okay. Uh, ba-ba-ba-ba, master's GM goal. Uh, I very often, I feel like I'm playing behind the ball and lack the ability to efficiently take in information and play accordingly. Besides just ranking up, I'd like to feel more comfortable in my game so that I can play more cerebrally as opposed to feeling like a loose cannon. Now, th- now that's kind of a mixed bag here because sure. I actually have, um, <laughs> the whole idea to like play cerebral is respectable, but in reality, the most of the best players at anything are not cerebral in performance. Mm-hmm. So the idea is that like when you're cerebral, you're thinking, you're controlling, you're actively making decisions um, uh, at, by like one plus one plus one plus one, right? Yeah. But like if you would describe the, I mean, maybe I wouldn't describe it as loose cannon as being the optimal alternative, but like, let's say this in more instinctual, you're more feeling artsy, flowing, moving, yeah. acting, reacting. And that's really where you want to be performing the most in. Um, so if you look at like a chess player, a top tier chess player, they may not necessarily be thinking about every single step so much as just seeing the board and going yeah. with instincts, right? And that's where you play your absolute best most of the time in Overwatch. The problem is, is that may not necessarily make you better. That's just going to make you play your best. To play better, right. you're going to have to try to play cerebrally. And the goal of the cerebral play is to learn yeah. and practice. So what I would be, be careful with is don't pursue cerebral play as the end goal. Pursue cerebral play as the means to the end. If that makes okay. sense, yeah. That and, makes sense. and 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 if you go into a game and you play like a loose cannon, don't chastise yourself for playing like a loose cannon. Be like, that's probably actually where you were playing your best, but it's just not wow. necessarily the most productive use of your practice time. Um, what I have some players do is that I will have them spend like you know five six days of the week or most of their play sessions playing to practice, like playing on a specific goal, work at this, work at that, work at this. And then sometimes it's actually good to just have a day where you just play and have fun, right? Um, yeah. And, and just kind of like let yourself try to apply some of those concepts without really thinking about them. Just play to win. Um, so I would say don't chastise yourself for playing like a loose cannon unless that's right. happening every single game because it's not because you're playing bad. It's just because you're not necessarily allowing yourself to time. Because when you are playing cerebrally, you're playing worse, but you're thinking, yeah. you're learning, and, and developing skills. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes total sense. Okay, okay. Um, what do you feel is holding back from improving? Inability to relax appropriately in-game. Uh, I feel too fight or flighty, and this impedes my learning and promotes autopilot. I also feel like I get too much ranked anxiety in the sense that I fear de-ranking. So let's talk about that. So mm-hmm. inability to relax appropriately in-game. What are you thinking about in-game? Can you give me any sort of like a general thought process or like a mental position where you are, um, where you tend to kind of respond with fight or flight? Uh, yeah, so on... Uh like it's either damage, 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 or like, oh fuck, I gotta get out of here. I'm like way yeah. too far forward, and, you know, and, and I'm usually dead. 
pretty shortly right. after having right. that type of thought. Um, there's right. the occasional, like in, in the VOD I have today, I think I actually have a pretty good, um, a pretty good instance where like, A, I, I need the input because I don't know what I could have done, but I definitely, I had like a target rich environment, like uh, going into overtime, first point Nambani on defense. And that's one of those instances where, like, I felt like if I could have just gone into the cerebral mindset for just a second and assessed that I would have been able to let instinct take over. But instead, I was just totally overwhelmed by, like, right. the amount of targets I could shoot, how killable they all, all were, right. how close our team was to to right. uh, to a full hold. Um, so there's... Uh, you know, there's some of the very specific situations like that. Um, but in, in general, um, to me, the fight or flight feels like I'm just like trying to do damage sort of at all costs, like kind of like not being aware of positioning and, and cover and, and good distance management and, and stuff like that. Um, you ever heard of the term mental stack? Mental stack. No. Yeah. It's something that has been introduced to recently, actually. Um okay. At least the, the 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 term, right? The idea is that, like in complicated games, especially, there's about building these foundations, like these frameworks, so that you can layer, 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 yeah. right? And and when you talk about a lot of times when we're overwhelmed, it's when we're not equipped to deal with as many layers as we're confronted with, or yeah. we're not in an emotional or physiological state to be able to handle as much as we're used to. Like you're tired or you're mm -hmm. tilted, and so that stack. Might be something that you're used to dealing with, and now you're not used to dealing with it. Again, kind yeah. of going back to that chess analogy, right? I would look at a chessboard, uh, and and I I know how to play chess, but I'd never play it, and I would be totally right. confused at a mid fight situation, like totally overwhelmed. I wouldn't even yeah. know where to start. But a really high rank player would not necessarily be able to think more about each concept, but they don't actually need to think. They actually know what right. to ignore and what's relevant, and also. They also have the time they're just autopiloting on the stuff that's even relevant because they're so used to dealing with it, they don't even have to put any thought into it, right? For example, if you're really good with like like your right clicks and left clicks, and then you might not even put any thought into that at all for an entire week. And yet yeah. you're probably doing it relatively appropriately, right? And what you want to do is you want to build that mental stack so that you find yourself overwhelmed less and less and less. The problem is, is that you're diamond. And that yeah. there are too many things that you just aren't good at right now. There are a lot of things yeah. that you are good at, but there's a lot of things you're not. So what you have to do is you have to create almost this artificial training space where you actually just take some of those layers and you let them go to crap. Okay. Um, um, and, you know, and, that, and that's hard, right? Because it's like, you know, I'm actively not thinking about my positioning. I'm sure I'm going to die a lot. But that's okay yeah. because we're, not, we're concerned about that one layer until that layer becomes... Uh, you know, intuitive. So, like in these new Bonnie examples, right? You shouldn't necessarily be thinking, okay, what do I need to do? No, 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 because no. you, because you act like I should have been more cerebral in this particular instance. But if you had, yeah. if you tried, you probably would have been overwhelmed either way. Yeah, uh, framework is a great word, and honestly, if if I could like go back and just like rewrite my entire uh, form to you, it would have just boiled down to. I don't feel like I have a solid like framework for how right. I'm supposed to play this character. I right. think I know a lot of elements that go into it, but as far as what's the philosophy of Zenyatta? Yeah, philosophy like yeah. what is always first, number one, like yeah. never gets yeah. abandoned, like and right. the layering process. Um, sure, sure, of course. And that's something I'd, I'd like to leave with is um, is uh, a better framework to fall back on because I know that in high pressure situations you you fall back on your your fundamentals and, and your habits right. and, right. and every other discipline I know, those things are more or less built up in, in a pretty orderly framework. There's yeah. always flexibility, but I'd like to come out with a with a better understanding of, of what that framework is. Sure. Even if it's specific to my current situation and rank and, and of what course. I need to be practicing. Sure, of course, of course. Just keep in mind that you know, even within that framework, there's still going to be times where you're going to be overwhelmed because there yes. will be details that become important and you're not quite comfortable with those details. And that's why I'm saying you're going to have to create this artificial training space where you just yeah. are okay with letting some stuff kind of go to crap just so that you can handle one step at a time. And as you improve at that one step, your framework will expand. Your ability to understand yeah. and execute will be expand. I'm cool um, with that. And then crucially, that ties in with even the rank anxiety because when you're so focused on developing one aspect of your framework for long-term growth, you really don't care or you should care less about the losing or the de-ranking. Yeah, yeah. 
I think that's why I've been struggling recently because I don't have a clear like practice intention. So I'm just like stuck with my rank is the only thing I'm. I'm Of course, of course, Um, of course. And that's just you know it happens. It it (laughs) happens. I went from silver to gold, gold to plat, and now plat to diamond. It's just kind of magnifying a little bit each time. So this is a process I'm starting to get familiar with. Okay, good, good, good. Um, eight hours of sleep per night on average, good. Um, I don't have any other questions for me. Form, do you have any other questions for me? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay, uh, I think I got a, a good bit of it out in the uh, DMs earlier. So sure, sure. Yeah. Let's do let's do some gameplay review then. You got a code? Okay, yeah. Um, so let me send it to you. Sure. I realized I was on uh my alt that I haven't used in like four years. Last night I was doing some um. My chat was like, you should play some Doomfist. I was like, all right, let's play some nice. Doomfist. <laughs> Doomfist is terrible. I placed Plat 4. Um, so it was hilarious. Uh, it was some of the funnest content that we've had in a long time because it was nice. just like, just totally trolling. And it was great, so. Anyway, okay, let me get this. Uh, I'm actually yeah, going to sure. need to get my keybinds here really quick here. Um, Spectator, you know, this might be useful for you if you ever replay, uh, review your own games. I do, I- yeah, spectate toggle overlay in this tab here. Set it to R or just an appropriate keybind. It's really easy. Uh-huh. Replay decrease playback speed is going to scroll down your mouse wheel. Increase is scroll up. Replay back is Z. Replay forward is X. Uh, and then you're going to have to go into weird spectate uh, here. Um, and then spectate toggle pause. Make sure that's space. I think it's control P oh, okay. on default. Yeah, I rebound um, mine to P. But I'm definitely curious what your yeah yeah. I mean P is fine. Just as long as the, the initial key binds are bad, you know. So yeah. whatever you, whatever you want to do with it <laughs> is is fine. That's yeah. Crazy. And then options here. Just go down here. And these sadly don't save. Um, and skip yeah. objective capture sounds to off if you're playing. So it doesn't beep 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 if you're doing King of the Hill or whatever. And then time skip interval length, you can set to like seven or eight. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Because 20 is just too much. Yeah. Because you can mind, you can just click and drag, but yeah, 20 is yeah. too much. Okay. okay. All right. So framework for Zenyatta. Um, yeah. Really nothing revolutionary here. You know, uh, so it's just take a sight line mm-hmm. with, of the, within any, you know, look at the enemy team, look at your team, find, it, find an angle and, and shoot with cover. That's pretty much all there yeah. is to it. Um, okay. Yeah, that's it. Now, there will be more framework from that as we go through the review, but to start, it's just very fundamental. Can I shoot enemies? Do I see my team? Do I have cover? That's it. So, like, right here, for example, do you have a sightline on the enemy team? Uh, it, it, It's a bad one. Um, okay, why? Yeah. How, why is it a bad one? I'm a little too far to do anything reliably. So you're too far from these guys. Too far from the enemies. But yeah. the irony is that you actually feel a little close to the Winston. Did not even know the Winston was there, to be honest. Right. So yeah. it's it's a, it's an angle where they have ways to sneak up on you and yeah. also feels really far here. Now let's also go down the cover here. Uh, do yeah. you have consistent cover here? No. No, I, I you don't. I really struggle with this first uh, engagement in, in Esperanza. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, understandable. It's yeah. difficult, right? Do you have sightlines of your team? All of your team? Or as many members of your team as possible. Well, m- mixed. My goal was right? to have a sightline of either the Tracer or a Genji just because I want to give one of them my org. Yeah, that makes is- sense. Makes yeah. sense. So you've already you've already kind of whiffed here based off of your parameters of what you want to be doing with Zenyatta, right? And they weren't too complicated. So what position would have been a better rollout right about now? Uh, what position would have been better here? Mm-hmm. Um, in hindsight, high ground is looking mm-hmm. pretty nice. I think so too. Starting out here, now if this Winston shows up here and you have to rotate away, okay, fine. Like one of the key things with Zenyatta is, um, and you're not going to like this very much, but it's going to give you a little bit of freedom, is that there are no set positions with Zenyatta. There are set rollouts you might try for, but you have to be very dynamic in how you position. What I mean by that is that you might roll out here and then you see a Widowmaker and you go, well, crap. And so you rotate actually and you control this sight line instead. Or maybe you even drop and you, you know, rotate to in here and you take yeah. the fight on point instead. My point is that you still look for, you know, sight lines on your team and so on. But because with the loss of the tank and, you know, all these other things, you can't just hold an angle and just turn off your brain like you could in Overwatch 1. You yeah. actually have to move a little bit. So I want you to roll out high ground and I want you to see what you're given and go, 
Am, am I safe? Can I do damage? If not, where do I go? And if you could practice that decision making, that's probably yeah. maybe the most important skill you develop in Overwatch too. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is this is not great. Not a lot of cover. No si significant right. sightlines. Um, this rotation is good. But I don't think that I would necessarily rotate back. Yeah. I didn't have the courage to uh, to keep up with that rotation. I even did like a very long form like fly through of this map in a yep. self fog review to try good. and figure good. out where the good places are because I struggled <laughs> with it so much. And I found so much I like in uh, on this right side here. Yeah. Uh, as far as the yeah. sight lines and cover. Especially because there's nobody there. There's nobody there. Right. <laughs> and I got there and saw no one and I was like, ah, I'm alone. I'm I mean, gonna, look at this, gonna, right? This I'm is this is street. this yeah. is really safe, right? Look <laughs> at the distance you have, look at the cover you have, look at the tracer that yeah. you'd be enabling from this angle as well. So mm -hmm. the key thing that you're noticing here is that, you know, the power of hindsight, you've solved all your issues, right? The problem is, is then why are you lacking? Why are you screwing these things up in game? Yeah. Right? And um, you need to find the answer to that. What do you think? Yeah. Well, that was the flight side of, of, of the fight or flight. I would I agree. Think, I would uh, agree. <laughs> I just, uh, um, yeah, I just didn't have the courage to like, you know, F around and find out with yeah. uh, with that right side. Yeah, and, and that's yeah. it. And that's it. That's it right there. And the reason why that's so important is because that's not necessarily costing you this game. It's costing you your entire approach to this game. Yeah. You're looking for a sight line with cover on an enemy team. This is okay-ish, but is not comfortable. What about this? What about this? Let's try it. Yeah. And don't be afraid to make mistakes here. And I think like that's the key thing is like, Again, you have to like engage. If you want to talk about cerebral gameplay, this is where <laughs> we need cerebral gameplay. And you're not applying. You're not applying it. You're you're letting your you know your like you said your fight or flight kick in and go for the safe play. Right, and and we don't love that. Yeah. Okay. This is good because this checks the boxes, right? Cover sightline, right? Both your team and the enemy team. It's good. Yeah. Now, why do you rotate back here? What have you seen that makes this rotation reasonable? Um, I just have this like little like voice in my head. It's like I've been up here for six, seven seconds. I don't even see an enemy. Two of my teammates have rotated up to here, so sure. I, I should go look for damage. This is now. awkward, right? This is awkward. Yeah, yeah, this is, <laughs> yeah, this is awkward, right? He's always talking about pick and pitch and move. Um, I, I think yeah. awkward's advice is really good. I think that you just need to know when it's appropriate. So what I do is I take awkward's advice of always move, always moving, always rotating. And I change it slightly. Yeah. I say move when the situation demands it. Yeah. Right now, what have you seen from the enemy team action-wise that prompts you to rotate away from this angle? Nothing. I'm, Nothing. I'm like hunting here. Right. And the problem is, is that it moves you to a significantly worse sightline with significantly worse cover. Yeah. That's the problem. Now, what would prompt you to, for like Albert said, move? Um, if they took the high ground across the bridge uh, yep. where those little windows are and started yep. shooting. Um, yep. If they what just else? started inting through that, uh, through that bottom right doorway uh, where, um, yeah, where the soldier yeah. was. Any sort of rotation this yeah. way, right? Yeah. Um, if you heard Sombra hack Mega here, maybe that's a, worth a rotation. Um, lot, lots of things, right? That, that can prompt that side of a rotation. And again, that kind of goes back to where we talked about in first fight, that dynamics where you start off, you go, oh no, Widow's here. I need to rotate. I need to move. Oh no, I start off top. I need to move somewhere else. And right now you're rotating for the sake of rotating. Yeah. And that's significantly, I, the irony here is that we're scared of soldier, but because you've rotated away from a good sight line, you've now allowed that soldier to rotate here for free. Yeah, because I think what my tracer came up there with my Kiriko, and, and yep. they're not really going to pressure that sight line. Right, so right. My whole argument of, oh, you, they're you, there is... Right, you, you need to be here to help help your tracer and, and like shoot, yeah. right? You need to be yeah. pressuring the soldier. You need to be helping your Genji. Um, and instead, we're just kind of here. Yeah. You know, I mean, this is fine, I guess, but you have cover here, which is good. But definitely an objectively worse sight line. Um, so... Mm -hmm. I want you to be attentive to the enemy. Rotate around with yeah. what you see. Um, okay. But don't just move for the sake of moving. Yeah. I, I, I like that because instinctually, you know, I, I feel like a, a lot, if not most of what I do, should be 
responding to what the enemy does. You know, correct. Really, correct. Um, correct. And, and a lot of it with Zenyatta is because you're pursuing longer sight lines. You, you might be rotating away, rotating away, rotating away to do damage, rotate away to do damage, right? Um, like right now, you know where the enemy team is. There's yeah. some there. There's somebody here. You got to make a decision right now about and where I you should go. I, I die right here. And where should you go? Where should you go? Um, I think I should have gone into these like two little arches behind me. Mm -hmm. Um, just because mm -hmm. where the trace from the Kiriko are, I, I feel like I I never am able to like take cover there. I agree. Um, and everywhere else puts me like too far forward. Looks good to me. Looks but good to me. Do you have sightline? Like Do you have cover? Right yes. Now. If you'd have sightline, if you recover, if you were here, right? And then obviously if the Ryan drops, you can rotate up this way. Um, there's so many rotations. If the enemy team were to flip and rotate this way, then you'd be able to rotate out this door frame and out this yeah. way, right? Uh, it gives you options here. You don't do either, so you're dead. Yeah, I die in open space so much, literally right there. Mm-hmm. What do you think about your positioning right now? Do you have a sight line? Do you have cover? Yeah. Do you need to rotate? I don't think so. I see no reason to rotate. Yeah. You're under no threat. You have a great position. Great sight line. Go. Good. Get him. He's one. Get him. Yeah. It's fine. Still get him. Now, you feel the need to rotate now. Why? Um, I just feel like we're winning space and I want to close distance. What can you see right now? Uh, I see a Ryan. That's pretty much, I guess there's an Ana who just died. Yeah. Feels like your sightlines are a little bit more limited, right? So you need to yeah. rotate. Okay, so then where would you rotate to? Um, what I you see? Like, so instinctually here, I'm always just going to try and help my JQ, like, annihilate this Reinhardt. Yep. Uh, as opposed to, like, maybe trying to get ahead of the next fight for some damage. Sure. So I see an opportunity here to push ahead on the right, holding cover, yeah. or to push ahead on the left on an angle. Either yeah. one works. I probably don't hold cover going right. I, I love just walking Reinhardt's. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be super major. Just be near a wall. Just I think case. I get I get shattered right here because I, I did. Oh dear. No way did I think he had shatter already, and and that had right, been right. But it's like yeah, time. it's like one of those situations where it's like it's just a little bit of disrespect. Yes. You're here. You're fine. Yeah, I'm like I'm, I'm a meter away from uh, yeah. kiting yeah. this guy. Okay. I, so um, I like the dynamic rotation there of walking forward as you have space and to yeah. assist your team, not just standing still, but the way that you did it, not yeah. include cover. And so that's it. Yeah. You see, yeah. it's funny. It's like it's not like a lack of proactivity or too much proactivity or too much aggression. It's just it's not it's not aggression. It's just silliness. Yeah, I, you don't, I get caught playing you, very loose. Right. Yeah. You, you don't do more damage from where you're positioned onto the Rhine. Yeah, what do you think about your angle right now? Do you have a sight line? Can you see the enemy? Can you see your team? Do you have cover? Yeah, I, yeah, I like this, it right Yeah, here. this position yeah. is perfect. When would you rotate away from this position? Uh, Ryan dies or someone else pushes ahead of the bot into our room. Right. So if they push, you could back. Yeah. If the Ryan dies or somebody else dies and you want to rotate forward, where would you rotate to? Um, I guess it kind of depends. I mean, I could either take the Ryan space or or go sure. bridge. Uh, I would probably prefer bridge just because of the cover, yeah. consistent cover provided. It's but yeah, nice absolutely. Angle. You got it. And you can even see, do you see how you're rotating now? As the Ryan pushes further this way, you naturally are opening and deepening your angle. You mm -hmm. get, you notice that? Yeah. That's good. Um, Ryan's one of those heroes I, I feel just pretty like... Uh, not not safe, but like confident in that. Like uh, <laughs> this is not it. Be careful. <laughs> Even just ending your trance, just a small adjustment, but ending your trance here, big difference. Yeah. Big yeah. big difference. Okay, nice trance. All righty, let's roll. Up, up, bum. Any questions so far? By the way. Um, no. I think it gets pretty like yo yo y here. And this mm -hmm. is the part of the game where I feel like I don't really falter for the next few fights. Sure. We eventually win, and I don't think I contributed a whole lot uh, from this point on. Like, I'm probably going to die right here in my favorite, <laughs> yeah, my favorite spot. 
You know, the thing is, is it's like, it's another one of the situations where it's like, I understand your confusion here, right? There's a little pressure on the right. There's a little pressure here. You know, where do I want to go? To be honest with you, it doesn't really matter. You could hold even here. You could back up into here. You could honestly yeah. just be like, I don't really feel like making this rotation safely. Like, I actually just need to hold here for a little bit first. That's uh -huh. all fine and dandy. Just commit. Yeah. Commit. The reason you die here is because you're in the open. If, if you had yeah. been here and this, they want to run and chase you and you go and you drop and you die somewhere over in here, I mean, okay, that's fine. There's not a lot you can do about that. I, I get it, right? But you you make it too easy because you're yeah. here. That's the problem. You don't even die to shatter. You die to the soldier plus the shatter because you're standing in the open, so you're getting shot in the open. So um, make those plays, those awkward rotations easier by just making a decision and sticking to it with cover. Yeah. If there's no good solution, okay, fine. That's fine. That, that, that makes it your job even easier because you know that you don't have to go back and be like, oh, well, I should have held this angle. You should have just held... Uh, any angle, right? Mm -hmm. Any angle would have been fine. Um, but yeah, okay. That's uh, good. You have a sight line? You can see stuff? Not that deep. This is where you just... This is where, like, you don't need to move, right? There's no threat. Yeah. There's no rotation. And then as you as they rotate back, that's when you start to rotate. Um, okay. Okay, where's the sight line? Where's the best sight line with cover? Where should you be? I'm running around like a chick with my head that, cut off. That, yeah, yeah, figure it out. Yeah. Where should you go? Um, I, I, I should have just gone this high ground up, up yeah, the stairs. Yeah, agreed. Right um, here. Perfect sight and, line right here. Yeah. To be honest, I, I think the amount of time I've spent in this place and, and Esperanza is like in, in, in the seconds. Um, yeah, yeah. I kind of like that other stairs right behind me I could have fallen back to up towards the Right. Mega. It's like... Uh, it's a bit of a map familiarity thing, uh, but also, uh, like, you know, again, I, I got a, it's a bit of a fear thing. Like, Well, that I think it's more of the fear thing, because how do you get familiar with maps? By not being afraid to explore maps. And that's it, right? Like, you're yeah. not going to be able to learn, like, what's going to happen when there's a new map released in three months. You're going to have this yeah. excuse of, like, oh, I don't know the map. Well, then why not? Like, how do you think pros figure this stuff out, right? They just try right. stuff, you know? Yeah. Um, and especially if you know objectively kind of what you're looking for, which is I kind of want cover, I kind of want a sight line. Health yeah. pack could be great, but you know, there's nothing really, is oh, so you know. Amazing. Like looking at it now, it's, right. it's everything I wanted and more. Exactly, exactly. Um, so it's like, this is just a situation where it feels like because you haven't yeah. chosen the best position, your sight yeah. line isn't really that good to do damage. Like, look at this right here. Like, look at how much more damage and how much safer you would be able to feel from this position, yeah. right? I mean, look at this. You could completely ruin that soldier. Um, completely ruin that Sombra. And so, and even in situations like these, like, okay, look yeah. what actually kills you. This is still a winnable fight if you're up here. Because yeah. how they got to dislodge you from up here. Oh my gosh, we got to run all the way up the stairs. The guy's going to rotate away. He's going to one shot my soldier. Try to, you know, it's just going to feel really bad for them. Yeah. Um, you see this a lot actually in, in 4v5s at, the, at higher levels where, you know, somebody will get a pick, but because the other team is still controlling off angles and high grounds and sight lines, they'll actually lose because they get, it's a still a 4v5, but we still don't have any space, right? Yeah. Um, but if you're not controlling any space, then they don't have to take any space. That's the key thing. Definitely. All right. So obviously very, very uncomfortable fight location for you right now. What do you think of your positioning? Uh, it's, it's like pretty weak. I've only got, you know, one sight line and my cover right. is like, is the objective. Um, so is there a better position immediately or easily available? Um, I mean, uh -huh. high ground looks good to me, but this was a case where I was like, if I take that long rotation, I feel like I'm just giving the enemies. I would agree. I would agree. So, I, I so what's the solution? Like, do you have cover right now? I do. That's um, good enough. Have, that's I, it. I, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's it. Gotta duke it out. Yeah. That's it. That's it. So this kind of goes back to where these positions here. Remember this, right? When you're like, yeah. oh, I don't know. Just find cover and roll with it because you're right. There isn't really a good angle available right now. So just, this is fine. And then as you're getting space here, you're rotating forward. Now, where yeah. should you rotate from here? Um, I, I think like f around these like uh, bushes and things mm -hmm. on the right. Is nice mm -hmm. Open up your angle, open up your sight line, yeah. right? Yeah, 100%. I'm so eager to open up the angle. I just say, ah, I'll take the shortcut and, and not yeah, use the yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit of invested homework, right? Now, obviously, this fight is lost. Not really nothing, anything you could do here. You could just die here. Um, but I, I think, I think overall, you know. Okay, yeah, this guy's cringe. 
By the way, I'm trying to not look smug about the cover usage, but you know what? It worked, didn't it? You know? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he, that was a totally lost fight. The guy wastes his shatter and he totally whiffs, so. Um, but yeah, that was, that, was, that was fine. Okay. Run, 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 run. Go faster, go faster. Imagine if you could kick behind you. Like, imagine if you could kick behind you, just launch yourself forward. Just turn kick and launch yourself forward. You know what I'm saying? Like a leap frog. Yeah, so um, you gotta need some tiny little blink. Yeah, that would be that would be pretty funny. All right, thoughts on your position here? Um, it's it's okay. Um, I, I I'm probably gonna get pushed. Like I see at least two of the four enemies mm -hmm. just looking at me. Um, but our team is also. They're like fighting pretty hard here, so I I feel like right. I and I've trained, so I feel like I just gotta like keep myself in the fight. I might be able to like again rotate behind them, depending on yeah, what they do. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me frame the question differently. I'm gonna stop asking you what do you think of this position. Slap okay. me upside the head if I do it again. Let's okay. ask you a different question instead. Is there a better position easily available? Um, no. I, I agree. Don't think so. The only thing I would say is maybe adjust to this door frame because there's a little bit more distance and you're closer yeah. to the mega, right? Just a micro yeah. adjustment of where you're yeah. at, but not the position itself is fine, right? Um, right. So yeah, I might have fat fingered this. I, I don't know. I'm like playing with a new keyboard. Uh, yeah, I mean, sorry, right. sorry. Right. Yeah. I, I get it. You know, the EMP and all that stuff. I get it. Just kind of comes back to like, where do you need to end this? There's like three different positions that you can end it, right? Yeah. Right inside, back here, up the yeah. stairs on the corner. Now, what the frick are you doing here? Right, this is how you lose this fight because now you're still vulnerable to Sombra Soldier, everything else. Right, right. Um, and because you're vulnerable, the problem of being vulnerable is then unnecessarily vulnerable. Let's put it that way, is that you actually do less damage because you're freaking running for your life. Like you yeah. know, right now you're you're not positioned to shoot anything, and so this feels like you might still die here. And even if you didn't die. What relevant damage have you done like the last 13 seconds? Yeah, it was none pretty much. Right. So you have to try to injure trance in your cover, I think. I think that's yeah. the that's the key thing for you. Okay. Find an angle with your trance, either aggressive or defensive, it's up to you. Uh, but an angle with cover. And and then let if they want to push you in on you and kill you because you took a risk, that's fine. But there's no risk with not using cover. Cover is just free value for the enemy team and no benefit to you at all. Like, for example, here, you could right now be like, uh, my sight lane here is not great. I can only shoot the run. I'm going to go in through and I'm going to do an awkward, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. on a corner. I'm fine with that yeah. as long as it's on a corner. It's high risk, high reward. Yeah. Right? But this, w right? Key. Yeah. W key, right? There's no benefit yeah. for you being here as opposed to being where yeah. you just were. Yeah. But there's a lot of downside. Um, right. Exactly. It's that bloodlust where I, I want to press W. I want to push forward. But there's no benefit there. All right, careful. Okay, careful, careful. Good. Okay, let's rotate. Nice. Okay, again, any questions so far? No. Um, All righty. Does it feel simple? Yeah. Good. Oh, does it feel simple? Uh, <laughs> yeah. It, um, yeah. S simple enough. Um, the thing that's feeling like very simple is is you know, how I can apply what we're doing right now to like self bot review in the future. Right. That feels right. even simpler than like the, the okay. gameplay specifics, Good. which I kind of like. Right. Look for sightline, find cover. Yeah. That's that's pretty much it. Um, and rotate as needed. be willing to rotate depending on what the enemy team does. Don't be scared to try things. Yeah. Ah, get cheeky with it. Yeah. And he was just nice. standing there. I yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Totally rushed it. Like here, for example, is this a bad position? Do you have a sight line? No, I like this position a lot when right. I got here. You have cover. Yeah, yeah, right. So, um, so this is something that like you're feeling a little cheeky with it. I don't know. This is this is this is cool. Yeah, I like got there right on time to help my Genji. Yeah, and the best part about this is, do you need to rotate right now? No, absolutely not. Just sit here and press mouse one. I don't care if it's on Ryan Shield. I don't care if it's on Squishies. Whatever. Just press the buttons. And then now, urgency to rotate to cover. Mm -hmm. So here, you have options. Stay here or rotate yeah. all the way over here. Make it quick, though. So, yeah, I never get to that right <laughs> side. I got stuck on the payload there. I was like, yeah, oh, that, that, I mean, that happens. It happens. Okay. 
I seemed like you were trying to get to cover, so that's a that's a positive. You know, I was, right. I was. All right, all right, let's get forward. The trance if you want for your curie more than anybody else. You could have trance that just more for your curie. Yeah, that's fine. Trance is tough to use in Overwatch too. Very tough to use. Uh, yeah, the day I was playing this, I probably had like six trances where like I just tried to greet it by an extra second and lost like my life and yeah. my fight. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. I and got all you. of them were like, you know, flat, last, like, win this fight to win the point or the game. You know, yeah. not like, yeah. Where, like, there's not, there's no opportunity cost even to using it. But right. I wasn't aware of that, so I, I didn't just smash it. Exactly. Here it is again, right? Yeah. No, Can I hug in here? Can I actually aggressively rotate all the way over here? Can I even contest high ground? I don't know, but being in no man's land here, oof, yeah. that hurts. Good chance. And you should right, die. And it right in their face again. And there it is, yeah. right? <laughs> just, just, it's like literally here. Just a tiny, Ooh, tiny yeah. bit off. And, and you are like so much relaxed. Rotate mm -hmm. left, rotate left. I want that, Ryan. Yeah, okay, you guys That's win this. Um, yeah, we have more time. Do you want to look at another code? Uh, yeah, totally. Um, this one. Um, so. We had a, a lever by the time we got to our offense, um, but um, the the defense I think is really all that's worth reviewing. And if we run out of time, we could just like skip to the the last fight on it. Um, yeah, let's do it. This this one was like a little interesting because like I I was playing like a a little unconventionally for how I would normally play just based on what I thought the, like the comps wanted to do. And I feel like I like I was able to execute the game plan right up until the last fight. Like basically I realized that I had a diva and a Kiriko and their DPS was like a, a Kree and an echo and they weren't switching. So like I played on the opposite high ground of my team for the entire defense, feeling pretty yeah. confident that I wasn't going to get dove or flank and that my tank and support could peel for me. And like, I wouldn't usually play that way because um, it's not like damage, damage, damage. Um, but it felt like it worked pretty well um, until the very end. Yeah, it makes sense, makes sense. Now you said that you wanted to watch, if nothing else, the last fight so we can at least yeah, start. Yeah, sorry, through. last fight of defense. So that would, yeah. that would be earlier on because we... Er, Third point oh, or first point? Sorry, first point, my Got bad. it, got it, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Took it and, and oh, well then we we we... Sh we sh we, we will definitely get to that, so we don't need yeah. to skip ahead then. Yeah, we can. We kind of fumbled after the first. Yeah. Game well, okay. It, it's new money. It's just part of the, the design of the map. Yeah. is kind of crappy, to be honest with you. Yeah. Okay, so let's actually talk about this here, because what do you think about your sightlines on this particular position? Um, I I, ne I don't love anywhere at first point of Bonnie. I, yeah. I tend to just yeah. stack here. Um. I, I I don't know. I just because like, it's just something I, I default to this just because at least it's like a choice that I make. As sure. To sure. Sure. Nuts. What do you think about the sight line here? Um. Ooh, I ordinarily would feel like pretty uncomfortable there. Um, okay. And I I couldn't really tell you why. Just that it it feels unfamiliar and that sometimes I walk backwards off the map. Okay. Well, that would obviously be a downside. So I'm going to consider, yeah. what do you think about this position? Um, I, I end up playing the rest of the game from this position. Once I mm -hmm. make the like judgment about what the comps are doing. Okay. Um, that's, I just feel like I can afford to like spread the field and, sure. um, and that I was going to try that. So sure. That's Sightlines crazy. here, far superior. Yeah. Far superior. Obvious vulnerability is if they're on a Sombra, it is a little bit easier to isolate you. But what mm -hmm. if they're not in a Sombra? There's not, there's not a really high chance that they are. So what I want you to do is I want you to try this position a little bit. I want you to try okay. this position a little bit. And crucially, press tab, scout comp, think about it. Look yeah. at where they're rotating to and decide on where you want to rotate. And don't just stand here either. Maybe you start here, they do something weird or funky, and you go, hmm, I'm actually going to rotate here. Or vice mm -hmm. versa, right? So remember, it, it always ties back to you being brave enough to just have an idea, try it, and rotate with okay. what's given. Because okay, this yeah. is this is this is quite frankly bad. Yeah. 
I mean, this, 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 this goes without saying. Like, you have no yeah. sight lines here. You're totally out in the open. You have no idea where or what to do. Um, so there's really nothing to be learned. And that's that's the worst part about it. Um, yeah. So, yeah. It's new Bonnie first. There's nothing that's going to feel objectively this is perfect. There's no downsides. It, yeah. It's just, it's just, it's a badly, poorly designed map. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Once Don't I started playing here, though, I was like, well, this is as good as it gets on this map. I was like, feels good now. But what while, happens yeah. when they run Ryan Lucia, rotate across with Maywall and rotate after you, right? What happens if they have a Sabra solo flanking you here? What happens if they have a Tracer solo flanking you or a Wrecking Ball, right? Um, yeah. This position doesn't, isn't necessarily bad, but you're going to have to think. And I think that, yeah. like, so. You know, again, it's okay to have, like, uh, this is the position that I prefer, but yeah. do keep your brain. Like, this is where you do want to be cerebral until you can do these things. Well. Yeah. Position. I wouldn't mind Harmony orbing my D.Va here just because of how aggressive yeah. she is playing. Yeah, there you go. Racer is also is good. And this is where Zenyatta flourishes. Right. Yeah. Just I was just kind of just... Me. Just turn your brain off, shoot people in the freaking face, and then I mean, I honestly don't even need to feel like the need to watch this. You're just gonna roll. Um, yeah, the the next <laughs> it, up until overtime, it's literally a replay of what just happened. It gets That's... worse, like for the enemies, like the monkey misses a bunch of jumps onto the high ground. Like, yeah, just nothing goes their way. Yeah, it, everything everything feels so hard. Yeah, France is good. Rotate back to high ground. Do not stay here. Even here, yeah. I, I think just a little bit further up the stairs. It's just a matter mm -hmm. of meters, right? Um, just a slightly better angle. This is better than our trances on East Bronza, though, in terms of where we ended, yeah. so that's a plus. I got super confused because I thought the D.Va was dead. I wasn't expecting her to, to bomb mm -hmm. out of her mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, wait, we have a second life in this fight. Yeah. Now you know I'll go, like... You know what's funny? If well, I'm interrupting. I apologize. Go yes, ahead. No, go. Mm, I was done. It goes both, cuts both ways with the rotation. So we talk about like, you know, rotating away from threats, rotating away from threats. But also like, yeah. what is a threat to you right now? Nothing. Why are you not here? Um, honestly, I was like thinking at when I'm playing there, like I am my own greatest liability. Like if I don't fall back quickly enough, I throw. Whereas sure. when I'm playing all the way back, like I just feel like, their <laughs> like the cards they have are so rough like it's all sure. on them and I so, was so, so honest quickly. question do you want your own inability to rotate around where the enemy team does limit free damage free pressure free old no charge? i don't I you don't. know like you know you yeah. know where i'm going with this right so like you look at this yeah. free value there's no hanzo or widow to, to blow your head off right yeah so get here throw some damage throw some shots harmony orb Diva's yeah. here. Okay, I'm out. See y'all later. Now you're playing Zenyatta, so you do need an extra two or three seconds to rotate. So right. I wouldn't even mind if you rotated. I see Diva. I'm out. Even I just hear uh, Diva, and I'm already rotating away. That seems fine to yeah. me. That's free. That's free pressure here. Don't yeah. don't don't look down on that. You know. So I I now, totally agree. Yep. Mm -hmm. Something really important just happened on the starboard. Okay. If you saw it. I saw a flash, yeah. Uh -huh. I saw that uh -huh. in real time, oh, though. That's good, that's good, that's good. You reacted. Good. Even just the uh, the Discord there was, was good. Yeah. Good. And this is why we this is why positioning is so important. I mean, the D.Va literally cannot reach you. Yeah. And this is great. Oh, no. This is not great. Couldn't tell you what compelled me to jump down there. I mean, even just the fact that you swung from here to here is what killed you. Yeah. Because that swing is what a lot force field makes right. you feel pressured, and then you're able to tuck in your. I mean, this fight yeah. is not only winnable, but honestly uh, won. Um, yeah. With a little Just bit a meter, more. A meter out of place. Uh huh. Right? Uh huh. Yeah. Good news is here is this position is still okay. Th Just this is where I see like the world is my oyster here. There's so many heads to click. No one's looking at me. And I'm like, who do I orb? Who do I discord? Who do I shoot? And I get nothing done. To be honest with you. It's just all fine. Just hit your shots, play cover. Yeah, that's it. Okay. It's actually it's really simple. You're doing fine. Just keep shooting. I wouldn't go for mercy. To be honest, this is where like and honestly, the orbs are like this. Everybody could use orb. Everybody could use discord orb. Yeah. You just miss too many shots. Yeah. Fair enough. That's that's and all. I, I was hardcore panicking. So that, that's that all. Nice. See, but but see what you see that should make you feel a little warm and cozy. <laughs> It kind of did, to be honest, because you know? I was like, yeah. Because it, it, it was like, it felt like really stressful, but actually 
eh, just just hit your shots. That was it. There, there wasn't anything crazy big brain yeah. that you missed out. And these are going to be happening in every other game. You got to be quick in your feet. You really don't. Like, you're, like, if you look at the situation, let's just go back just a little bit here. Who needs Harmony Orb right now? Um, so I, I feel like trying to keep up the Devo is, is like a red herring. And, and like, I guess Echo, Echo needs it. But, but, but like, you, you even have a tracer in here as well. You know I, what I'm saying? I know. Tracer would be my... If the Echo were full HP, I would say Tracer every time. And this was, I think, the, like this was my dilemma. I think I struggled yeah, more yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Who do I harmony than anything and, and, else? And this is where, again, I'm going to go and be honest with you. Because it, there's, an act, there's an animation of harmony orbing, and because everybody could kind of has a good argument for it right here. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah. And the same thing applies to Discord here. I said no to the Valking Mercy, but even Valking Mercy isn't too bad considering where she's playing, right? All mm-hmm. of these are good Discord targets. Okay. The problem is, is that when you're, the, the, the problem is not, the, <laughs> I'm going to go all Roosevelt on you. The, the fear itself is the problem here, right? Yeah. It's not, it's oh, yeah. not the, 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 the bad decisions because honestly, there isn't a bad decision to be made here. It's the fear of making a bad decision is the bad decision that distracts you, not only takes time away from shooting shots, but also from takes your mental energy away from hitting shots. And yeah. that's why you lose. Um, obviously, we could also that. talk about, like, you could have been a little closer to cover as well and, and, and so on. But I think this is just an awkward spot. But more than anything else, just relax, hit your shots, and this would have been fine. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of all I can ask for is to, like, put myself in a right. position where it comes to, like, uh, you know, like a test of mechanics and who right. their shots like I, i'll never be mad if i lose right like, um i was gonna nitpick your cover here could have been a little bit better yeah it's funny because just as that hat goes off she whiffs virus on you i mean this is like why cover matters right like it was it was yeah. just good enough for this instance but yeah i mean yeah that, that, that's all there really is to it i, I think that the, as complicated and as stressful as this fight was ultimately it just came down to you overwhelmed yourself with decisions that really were not that hard yeah. Um, and and then missed all your shots. When everything feels like, oh, I could go here, I could go there, I could harm this, when that's the case, the good news is that there is no bad decision, right? The more confusing yeah. a decision gets, the easier, the less punishing it is to make the wrong decision. Like it's that. the easy decisions that you have to be watch out for because if you yeah. mess up the easy decisions, you throw a fight. Yeah, that's a that's a helpful like framework to me. I feel like actionable to me and, and how my brain kind of works. Right. Like, it's good. Really I'm glad to hear it. On. Yeah, I mean, your positioning here is is, is not great, yeah. right? Uh, again, you're like kind of like, I don't really know where to go. I don't know if I should be going high ground. I don't know if I should be going here. I don't know if I should be going there. But the answer is yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All of them are fine. Try them out. Try see which one works better. Yeah, try try yeah, them out. I heard this Sombra there, and yeah. like, I'm like, I'm gonna go can kill this thing. Yeah, but like I I was just like I was missing the crucial stuff. Like I just heard hack a second ago. And yeah. I see the hacked health pack, like that means she is right in front of me. But I was like looking for, you know, the, the real sneaky place where she's going to be like, no, like she can't be anywhere else. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. Kind of yeah. An, an yeah. I mean, it, 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 that, that's fine. If that was like a, hey, like you're trying to big brain the Sombra and you're like going I for was. a cheeky thing, <laughs> then, then you know <laughs> I what? I, I can, I can, li- yeah. I can live with that to be honest with you. It's not yeah. that important. Okay. So let, let's, let's take some notes here. So sure. I hope you feel like you have a little bit more of a framework here. Um, yep. Or at least, ironically, a framework to develop your own framework. Right? Um, uh, so, what needs to be practiced, or what is your framework? Or like, because I want to take some notes here, but um, sure. we could take them kind of how you would take them, or you could you could even take them yourself. That might be easier. What needs to be what needs to be improved? What's your framework? What needs to be practiced? What are your goals, and, and so on? Um, so the framework, you know, to use your words, which are I think just as, as good as I could pick them, uh, are find a sight line where I can do damage uh, yep. and have cover, sure. and then rotate, um, like rotate as needed, rotate as dictated by the enemies of the fight mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. Um, you know or or my teammates. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the other you know big takeaway as far as a framework is uh, the situations where I tend to find myself overwhelmed. The answer is is simpler than i think because there's not necessarily a single right answer that i need to find every time it's just more important to you know commit to one of the choices and then go back to playing like the framework and and exactly rentals exactly the third big thing is um i i still haven't internalized and i'm underestimating the value of cover Uh, like even that last fight in numbani like i wouldn't have guessed and obviously didn't know at the time that basically the whole reason we didn't full hold is because I was like a meter and a half too loose with my cover 
and yep. got you know half of my hp or more taken out by the echo and um put myself in a position where i had to eat a big play to, to make a comeback and, and that didn't work out exactly. so there's just there's a lot more like there's probably a lot of things that i i think i need to solve that are actually like just non-issues when i play right. tighter with my cover and, exactly. and, and tighter is really like i i think i rack my brains like do i have cover where is my cover is was my cover good enough when in reality I, I think i need to just be trying to like tighten the screws and, and like take the mm -hmm. slack out of my gameplay um, i agree I, I agree i it's agree Not nice to see that because it's easy to forget yeah it is it is and i think like more than anything else is like kind of you said a second ago but just like being comfortable with with just trying different positions and trying different angles and taking yeah. some of the pressure off because i think that i when you brought that up is like, is that going to make your Zenyatta better? Yes. But I think more than anything else, it's something that you've definitely brought up is important for like your own enjoyment of the game and how much pressure you put on yourself. And like that, yeah. that is going to reflect in your gameplay. That's point um, number four for sure was I need to just kind of be a little more comfortable with being uncomfortable um, around the map. Yeah. I definitely yeah. have hundred percent places I avoid. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Questions. Um, I think the only like question I have at this point is like when I'm ending the trance, um, like kind of just what to look for. Um, I, I think like when I press Q, it's always very clear why I'm doing it. And then there's like a second or two where it's very clear that by like staying on my team, I can enable them to take more space. Yep. Um, but then I feel like there's a second or two where I just go bleh. And then in the last second, I've always gotten in the habit of using the momentum to to jump somewhere. But I think it's because of that second or two after like getting the max value of doing nothing that I, I end up realizing I don't have anywhere to go. Yeah. And so I just like I end up behind my team, but in open space. Yeah. Um, and I just don't know, like, you know, how I, I uh, other than just grinding out games, I don't really know how to. Uh, tackle that issue. I, I would say just find uh, cover okay. and choose whether you want to play more high risk angle or just play position more passively behind your team. It okay. doesn't really matter. As long as you're not in the middle of combat, in the middle of the open, you're fine. Yeah. You could use in your trance aggressively. You might die, but if you play cover, you'll waste a heck of a lot of time and have a chance to pop off, right? Okay. If you end it more passively, you're not likely to pop off post trance, but you're at least not going to be a liability. So just okay. the reason, just find periphery, perimeter, right? On yeah. the outside and find cover and you're good. Okay. Fantastic. Um, yeah, this was like everything I was hoping for. So thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. If you have any questions, anytime you can.